Hello everyone, welcome to Valley Homes on TV, the Milpitas edition. Todd Flesner here along with Debbie Giordano. Hi Todd, how are you? Great Debbie. <laughs> hey, we are here to talk more about Milpitas, what makes us a great community to live in. And um, if folks have tuned in, they, they found us here on Channel 26 in Milpitas on Monday, Wednesday and Friday afternoons, what, 6.30 I believe? That's right. Saturday and Sunday in the morning. 10 a.m. 9 a.m. So, 9 a.m. Close well, enough. I've got, <laughs> 9, 10, okay. whatever. Well, you can yeah, try. I, I, I sleep in. I'm, I sleep I'm, in. I'm, Depends I'm if because. it's daylight savings time <laughs> and then it's, yeah. But no, it's, we're good. <laughs> we'll get that right. Uh, yeah. We've had a lot of fun over the years, haven't we? We, we certainly have. You know, it, it is great to, to get to know more about Milpitas, the community that we call home, and uh, some of the folks that make this a, a great place to to be. So, Super. Um, you want to introduce our guest today? I would love to. This is Colleen Knoll and she is the director, I want to say, mm -hmm. of the Calavor Calaveras Montessori Preschool. Right. Uh, right here located at the Old Air Samuel Air High School site and next door to the Sports Center here for the city of Milpitas. Welcome Colleen. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, okay. we're Glad to see you. Um, uh, let's begin. Um, Tell us about your preschool, just briefly, and then we'll get into some Q&A. Okay. Great. Well, um, this preschool's been open since 2002, I believe, so we've been here quite a while, and we have infants um, starting at ages six weeks all the way up through kindergarten. So um, we've been serving children, you know, with their siblings and, um, you know, cousins and lots of, um, lots of kids come through the school. Oh, terrific. So, you know, lots of folks are looking for quality mm -hmm. daycare. Right. You know, and, and this definitely is part of the quality daycare scene here in Milpitas, but if, if folks are, are looking, what are some of the things that they ought to be thinking about or asking as they are exploring options for preschool right. or, or daycare? Well, I think that one of the, the the first things that parents should think about is how do they feel when they visit a child care center? And so it might, it might have everything checked off the list, like everything that they're looking for, but if it doesn't feel right, they should probably listen to themselves and continue to look for um, for a proper child care center. There's so many different choices and there's so many things available and every child is different. So well, let, let me ask you, what is your educational philosophy? Well, we're a Montessori school, so um, we have an individual based curriculum for children and our teachers go through a college course. It takes two years to just be certified to work with children ages um, three to six. And so it's very specific to the environment and we are hands-on. We work um, every child at their own pace and one of our biggest goals with children is to teach them to be independent so they can do things for themselves and that gives them confidence, it gives them self-esteem and really prepares them for uh, elementary school. Well, I'd, I'd just like to say something on that note. Um, my three children that are much older mm -hmm. and before they could even come to your preschool right. were both all products of the Montessori, of Montessori system. Children. So good. I, I have to tell you it's a great system. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, now, what, what is, what's so special about Montessori? What makes Montessori different perhaps than you know, well, any other type right. of Right. I think especially today, um, we, we really work with children um, individually and we work with actual materials to show them concepts. So we teach one concept at a time. What's happening right now in uh, preschools is, is children can learn a lot of things, but they end up learning by rote, by memory. So they just sit and memorize and memorize and memorize. And the young body of a child who's like three or four and five years old, they need to move. Their bodies need to be active and that's, their brain is still developing. It's just like, you know, in school when children have to learn for a test and then they memorize for the test and then they forget the information later. It's a little bit like that in preschool. So we want them to internalize and understand and master the concepts. And we feel like by working with actual uh, apparatus and material that they're able to do that. And so it's not a it's not a question of memorization at all at this well, age. Colleen, let's talk about my favorite topic, dif discipline, raising four children. Okay. What is your uh, methodology and how do you get the children right. to oh, great. Uh, behave? You know, that's a great question, Debbie. And, and that's one of the questions that most parents should ask when they come to a school to find out what is the discipline method. There's lots of things that parents do, or schools do and parents do. There's timeouts, there's, um, you know, they might take them away from an activity. There's all kinds of things. At our school, we have a method that's um, when a child, first of all, we give them a choice to correct their behavior. If it's a difference between a child and another child, we really do our best to get them to work it out, to solve the problem, not just say you're sorry and move on, because we really feel like that doesn't solve anything, and it just gives permission to kind of do it again, right? 
So if they choose not to correct the behavior, whatever that is, what we do is we have the children hold our pocket. So we don't put them on timeout, we keep them right with us and they, they put their finger like right, right in our pocket and they might stay with us for a couple of minutes and then we'll talk about it before they're ready to go. And it seems really silly, right? You know, like, oh, oh my gosh, you'll hold your pocket. But a lot of times parents will come to school and they'll be like, did you have to hold pocket today? And they're like, no, I didn't have to hold pocket. And so sometimes they're like, yes, I had to hold pocket. And it's really not terrible, but it, it's very effective. Did, did you design that yourself? Or is that something you learned somewhere else? Or? You know, it's I, from- I think it's a great idea. It is, it's from, um, it's from Montessori training. So mo some Montessori trainings might teach that method and some don't. So that, that was the way that I was taught. Super. Yeah, it's very effective. Yeah. Well, good. Well, what about other um, extracurricular activities or involvement with the mm -hmm. community? What sort of things should folks be looking for there? Right. So, you know, a lot of times parents will ask, you know, do you go on field trips? And we, we take our kindergartners on field trips, but I really don't like to take the young children out on field trips. It's just it's a lot of young children out outside, and it, which, you know, per, it can be very unsafe, right? So we try to bring things to the school so we have um, we have dance class gymnastics class we just started a yoga class we have a great soccer class and an art class so one of the things that parents can ask is uh, what kinds of activities does the school have right on site because so many parents are two two working parents they don't have time to drive the kids around or spend their saturdays and sundays so we can in the afternoon after our Montessori program is finished um, and they're done working and had lunch, then they can take a gymnastics class. So a lot of schools offer that. So um, they might have a one or two classes or they might have three or four classes, it just depends. Okay, another issue that comes up with schools preschool is security. Mm -hmm. Now I noticed we came in with a gate and mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, been coded outside, I guess, for the parents to right. come in. Or, yes. but, so how does that security system work and how, how are the children safe? Right. So at, at our schools, um, all of the entrances secure and you know I, I never like anybody to think that that is our only security system so you have to have a code to get in the door you have to ring the doorbell and somebody has to come and let you in if you if you were just coming into our school and walking around somebody would stop you and ask you you know if they can help you so we want to make sure that the children are safe but we really think that you know, if somebody wants to come in, they're going to come in. I mean, somebody could follow you in. Parents are friendly to other people. Yeah. We ask parents to please don't let somebody in that you don't know. But um, so the, the best security is actually our staff, you know, to make sure they're always aware and not thinking, oh, well, we're just, we're gated in here, so we're okay. So um, very important that, that the, the humans here keep watch. How yeah. about ratios? I mean, what sort of ratios mm -hmm. should a school have for adults to children? Sure. Well, the state tells us that for preschool age children, we have a ratio of 1 to 12. We usually run in about a 1 to 10. And we have our garden here, so we have children out in the garden. Usually we have about a 1 to 8 ratio in the garden. For the infants, we have 1 to 4 ratio. And usually toddlers are about 1 to 8 or 1 to 9. Okay. And yeah. the, so the state gives you those sort of right. guidelines? Right. That yes. So if you're looking for child care, it's important to ask those questions. Make sure you understand the ratio. Right. You know, understand their educational guidelines as well mm -hmm. for, for folks who work in right in these sort of centers. So, in in just general preschool for the state, we we all have to meet a minimum of 12 early childhood education units. Um, infant toddler needs an extra three units of uh, infant toddler, and then a health and safety class and CPR training. You have to have one person on site all the time that is CPR certified. So it's an important question to ask. In our Montessori training, one of the, one of the reasons why we're, I think we're so successful and we work very well with children is that um, our teachers either have degrees or uh, a, their certificate is equivalent to about 36 units of early childhood education. So. All right, well Colleen, what we're gonna do is on the screen, we're gonna put your address. Oh so great, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I actually have two schools and we're getting ready to open a third school this summer. So this one is uh, Calaveras Montessori, 1331 East Calaveras Boulevard. And then our second school that's been open for two and a half years is Crescent Montessori. And that's 1651 North Milpitas Boulevard. And this summer we're opening a school on Main Street called Main Street Montessori at 630 South Main Street. We're right in the same building oh as, as Great Jumps. Goodness, three yeah. schools to three pick schools. from in Milpitas. Is right. there like a general phone number? 408-263-8170 is the phone number at our Crescent Montessori School. And you can look up crescentmontessori.net.
That's our website. Thank well, you. I understand we've got a little celebrity right. uh, out yeah. there. We, uh, we have a model student, somebody that's been with your program right. for, what, four years? Yeah, she, well, she's going to kindergarten. Okay. Her name is Callie, and she's been with us since she was an infant. And I'm sure so. you want to show her off to I the do. crowd, yeah. and so does she. So let's <laughs> okay. take a break, and let's go get her. Okay. All right, so we're back with our special guest, Callie. Hi, Callie. How are you? Good. Good. So I understand you've been here at the Montessori Preschool for... A little while. Yes. Yes. And um, do you like it here? You you do. Tell us what you like about the Montessori school. I like to work on the banking. On the what? Banking. The bead game. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly, why don't you tell them what the bead game is? Can you tell them? I is that math? Is it beads that you put out like this and you and you line them up? No. No. All you need to do is you need to get the thousands and the hundreds and the ten bar and the units. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. That is, that's the bead game. Yeah, we do nice. math with... Um, the bank game. Right, with the bank game. We teach addition. Are you doing addition? Are you doing any subtraction? Not yet? Okay. Any multiplication? Yeah, a little bit of wow. multiplication. Wow. Yeah. That, that, that's very advanced. That's are you pretty. are you excited to go to kindergarten? This yes. 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 Right. Is so it? you're going to be a big girl going to kindergarten. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what what are some of your other favorite things at Calaveras Montessori? What do you do for fun here? I like to go gardening. To go to the garden. Gardening. What do you do in the garden? I plant flowers. Mm -hmm. You do. How, what sort of flowers? Are, are some of these flowers back here the ones that you planted? Really? <laughs> wow, they're growing so nice. Do you water them every day? And yeah, every day everybody waters the plants. Nice. Let's see, I hear that they, there's gymnastics here and uh -huh. fun things. What is there something like that that you do here? Do you do gymnastics? Or, really? Can you do somersaults and flips? And Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. So you've been coming here a long time since you were a little baby, I understand. Right. Wow. So can you tell us some of the other things that you like to do at, at school here? What about when you play outside, Kelly? I like to play with my friends. Do, do you have a special friend here? My cousin Riley. You have a cousin here too. Wow. So your cousin, you and your cousin have fun too. How oh, neat. Great. And how about your teachers? Can you tell us about your teachers? Do you like them? What are your teachers' names? Miss mm. Colleen? Mm. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, or... Miss Claudia? You have a Miss Claudia? Ha. Ha. Miss Candy! Miss Candy. <laughs> So if somebody was a little baby and they needed to go to school, would you recommend this school for them to come to? Do you think it would be a good school? Oh, your mommy's having a baby also, right? Really? A gonna, baby sister. So you're going to be a big sister. That's your baby nice. sister, she's going to come to school with us, right? Yeah. Well, you sound like you're awfully smart. I think, I think you're having fun here and I think you're learning a lot. Would you, would you agree with that?